Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio for this upcoming week and into the first part of November. So we're in Scorpio season, so I just want to say a quick happy birthday to all of you out there who are celebrating. We're nearing the end of 2020, a memorable and challenging year for all of us. Regardless of your own personal circumstances, with it, which is probably just the cherry on top, right? So Scorpio, we'll get started here in a minute or so. I just want to remind all of my viewers that because this is a general reading, it can apply to any kind of situation, relationship, or circumstances that you might be dealing with. Be flexible with the energy. You might be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards, regardless of the gender of the card. You also may not show up at all in the cards, which means you might feel like you're cross-watching for somebody. Parts of the reading may resonate for you, while other parts may not. So take what does and leave behind the rest. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. And I hope you get something out of it. I hope you feel that it was worth your while. Okay, Scorpio, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me give this first deck one more good shuffle. And we're going to see what's in the cards for Scorpio. Here we go. We're going to start off with the Ace of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Five of Cups in reverse. And Five of Pentacles. So Scorpio, it looks like you might be up in your head regarding an emotional situation, possibly a connection. There might be some anxiety. There might be some sleepless nights. There might be... <clears throat> maybe you're dwelling on something from the past or something that's occurred between you and another person. We have a Queen of Cups on the table in reverse. This is... Um, Scorpio, this could be your energy or, or somebody that you're dealing with, the person that you're dealing with. <clears throat> so bear that in mind. If you are a male viewer, you can embody this queen's energy. So the queen of cups in reverse. This is, this is somebody who's been emotionally hurt. This could be somebody who's emotionally disengaged. This could be somebody who feels like a target or a victim. Somebody who's been wronged. This is somebody who could potentially be um, using their emotions in a manipulative manner. But I get from this card more than anything, especially with the Nine of Swords showing up here, this is the person that, that person that's dealing with some kind of grief surrounding possibly a connection or a relationship. And I feel, Scorpio, you might be feeling guarded. Maybe a little reluctant to engage in working with other people or collaborating with others or making new connections. Because I do feel like there's some, some heartbreak some troubled thoughts, an effort to possibly um, heal from something that occurred in the past. You might be feeling, <clears throat> I do get the sense of loneliness a little bit with this Five of Pentacles. Maybe you're alone in this healing process. Maybe you don't necessarily feel like you can share what you're dealing with with others. 
I just get a strong sense of feeling guarded, protecting oneself, that sort of thing. So let's get some more cards out here for Scorpio. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords. There's the Nine of Swords again. Four of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Swords. The King of Wands. Two of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so, Scorpio, here's what you're in your head about. You're in your head regarding some kind of Seven of Swords energy. And you may be feeling confused. You may have questions. You may be wondering what, what happened. Um, Seven of Swords can indicate betrayal. Someone trying to get away with something. Deceitful behavior. Lies. Could indicate criminal activity in the extreme form of the Seven of Swords. But you're definitely, there's definitely a lot of uh, concern, worry, anxiety, maybe sleepless nights regarding um, some kind of wrongdoing. And there is a victim here and the victim is this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> So I feel like there is a, a connection or relationship tied in with whatever it is you've got on your mind, but it feels like there's also with this Ace of Pentacles coming up, there could have been some kind of missed opportunity or something that it got away got away from you or something that that was unattainable unattainable due to some kind of misfortune within a connection. So we have a King of Wands on the table. This could be the person that you're dealing with, but this does not feel like the person responsible for the Seven of Swords energy. So this could be somebody that would like to collaborate with you or work with you. The King of Wands is somebody typically who has um, leadership skills, who could be in a position of power or in a position where he makes decisions. Um, delegates responsibility, organizes people and events. I feel like there's some reluctance to interact with this particular person, but it's not because of this person. It feels like it's because of something else, something that you might be healing from. Now, I feel like I'm reading for this Queen of Cups, Scorpio. So when I say you, I'm kind of referring to you as this Queen of Cups, but I want to remind you, even if you are a Scorpio, you may not resonate as the Queen of Cups. You might be this king, female or male, or you could be an external party, and maybe you're aware of the situation. Could be something that's going on for somebody else around you, and the energy affects you in some way, shape, or form. So it could be that you feel like you're cross-watching, but you're receiving this reading because it's important for you to get this message. So just be aware, I am reading for the Queen of Cups. So when I refer to you, I'm assuming that you are the Queen of Cups, even though I know some of you out there are not, okay? I don't wanna confuse my viewers. So this Queen of Cups feels victimized, com confused, and is feeling very um, defensive.
Let's get some more cards out here for Scorpio and see what else we get. We have the Page of Cups. Nine of Wands in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse this time. The Lovers in reverse. Temperance, and then we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so here's what I have so far, Scorpio. There's um, two reasons behind this Nine of Swords energy, and it could be why there's there's two of them out here. There's, it's like twofold. You're in your head for two different reasons. The first is the Seven of Swords. There's some kind of level of betrayal, deceit, deception, sneaky behavior, shenanigans, someone getting away with something. Some kind of heavy energy that you're dealing with. I feel like it, it is... Not necessary. It's not connected to this King of Wands. This is a, he's he's the other piece to the to this um, Nine of Swords that you're dealing with. Whatever this is for you, Scorpio, I feel like it's something that you can't you can no longer fight. You can no longer defend yourself against. It's something that possibly has happened in the past. Maybe you're just trying to heal from it. I don't necessarily feel like there was resolution or closure with whatever this is for you and that's why you're still up in your head about it i think there are still questions i think that if you had the ability to gain some clarity maybe figure out what happened maybe you could get out of your head regarding this matter it feels very unfair it feels difficult <clears throat> This Queen of Cups definitely has that victim energy about her, feeling like she was treated poorly and unfairly. And probably she has this kind of energy, rightfully so. So yes, she's, she's dwelling in some shadow energy, but it's because she has unfortunately been a victim in some way, shape, or form. And whatever occurred was never resolved or closed out or the person who did this or people who did this to this person were not brought to justice <clears throat> if there was a fight or some kind of battle or some kind of attempt to resolve the issue or gain some clarity or gain some kind of justice it did not occur or has not yet It's possibly this is something this Queen of Cups is still working through. So maybe it's a current situation, but it's something that's heavy on her mind. Now, the other piece to the puzzle on why this Nine of Swords is out here twice is because this King of Wands is a, con is a connection that sh this Queen feels sincere about. This is a connection that she, I think, has put on hold for the time being because of this other thing that this queen is dealing with. So for the time being, this person's on hold and whatever this queen was going to do with this person, maybe this person was going to work with this queen 
or they were going to build something or create something together, or maybe this is a new relationship waiting in the wings. Whatever the case is, this connection with this King of Wands is on hold until this queen works through these this other issue. He's not tied to this other issue, but he's being affected by what this queen is dealing with right now. <clears throat> and that's on her mind as well because I feel like this, this queen of cups, Scorpio, your energy if you're this queen of cups, I feel like she would like to work with this king, connect with this king in some way, but she can't. I think she could. I think she could if she wanted to. I think the door is open. So in other words, I think she could connect with this king of wands. I think the door is open for her to do that. But she's feeling defensive about accepting that opportunity to connect with this King of Wands while she's still dealing with this Seven of Swords stuff. I hope that makes sense, Scorpio. So I think she's made a conscious decision. The best plan for me right now in order to heal the path that I need to take in order to get the healing done and recover from this and then connect with this King of Wands. <clears throat> on the level that I'd like to connect with him. In other words, I don't think that she wants to go to this king with this kind of victim mindset, like she's seeking out help, for example, or needing support. I don't think that's the kind of connection this Queen of Cups wants to make with this King of Wands. She doesn't want to bring her troubles into this connection because it's unrelated to this King of Wands. She would be bringing um, a burden into the, this connection or into this mix. There's some. There's just this this resistance to pursue something while still deal, dealing with something else. So I do feel like this Queen of Cups has made a conscious decision to take this on herself. The problem is the Seven of Cups over here. I think there are a lot of unanswered questions. I think there's a lot of confusion, and there's a lot of anxiety over that. Um, I can, I can tell you from personal experience, I know how this feels when you are left wondering or, or you, you don't have the ability to gain the clarity or maybe the person who's responsible for the Seven of Swords energy is not speaking to you or is no longer in your life and you're just sit, sitting there left wondering what in the hell happened? Like you got slapped in the face and you got squashed into the ground by a giant boot and then you get up and you're like looking around for, trying to figure out what the hell happened. How did this happen to me? Why can't I get any answers? Why won't so-and-so speak to me? That's hard. It's hard. And if, yeah, I think it, you know, See if the Seven of Pentacles comes out here. I think that this is one of those situations that takes a considerable amount of period of time to, to recover from or heal from. So I think that's the other half of this Nine of Swords is this Queen of Cups is concerned, you know, is this King of Wands still going to be around when I am ready to make this connection? Am I missing out on this opportunity because of my need to deal with this other issue first? So that's what I have so far. Scorpio, let's get some more information out here. We have a Queen of Wands on the table. And she is clarifying this Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords in reverse is clarifying the Seven of Swords. Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. I don't take that third card, but I often look at it and it's often significant. So I thought I'd show it to you. So we have the Ace of Cups again in reverse this time. So we have the Ace of Cups in the upright with the Nine of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Swords down here.
Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups again. Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Wands again in the upright with the Six of Wands. And then we have the King of Wands for the second time. Okay, this is interesting. With the Queen of Wands out here, I think the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Cups. It's the same person. This King of Swords is somebody different, however. The King of Swords is the person responsible for the Seven of Swords that this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands is dealing with. This person is responsible for the deception, the betrayal, the shady behavior, the criminal behavior, the lies, the deceit, whatever that looks like for you. Seven of Swords, of course. Um, this kind of energy could be something as simple as a white lie or trying to lie to yourself to criminal activity and everything else in between. So you decide what this is about. Scorpio, if you're resonating with this reading, you'll know. But this Queen of Sword, King of Swords is responsible for it. So the King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody who's in a position of power. Somebody could, who could have a certain level of authority. Somebody who... who um, could potentially make decisions for others. This could be a boss, or this could be um, someone who's in law enforcement, or someone, you know, a lawyer, or someone of that nature. Someone with um, a certain <clears throat> status, if you will. This is also somebody who's highly intelligent. But when he's in reverse, this is the this is a vicious individual. This is somebody who uses his intelligence for all the wrong reasons. If he's in reverse, this can also indicate someone who communicates poorly or is abusive in nature with the communication that he puts forth. This could be somebody who's stonewalling you, not speaking. Could be the reason for the Seven of Cups popping out here. All this confusion, all these questions. Why? Why did you do this to me? And unfortunately, this Queen of Cups is just, there's no way to fight this because this person has the upper hand in every way, shape, or form. You can't fight this kind of energy. They know that you can't fight it. It's why they behaved the way they did because they knew they could get away with it and nobody could do anything about it. And it's hard to be in a position like that where you know you're just a sitting duck for this kind of energy. Now, this person may no longer be in the life of this Queen of Cups, may or may not. feels like, for some reason to me, it feels like this is a past event I'm looking at. But it's possible that this person is still in this Queen's life. And even so, this person is, this Queen is still unable to gain the answers or the closure or the resolution that she needs. So I feel like she knows, look, I, I, I can't necessarily close the situation out the way I'd like to, but I still have to move forward with my life. I have to, I still have to move forward with my life and I can't allow this event to dictate and orchestrate how my life goes, how my life continues, what opportunities I have available to me. That's very unfair for this one incident to determine the outcome of everything else going on with my life. But it's so heavy on the mind of this queen that currently it feels like that's what's going on. So these nine of swords, we've talked about them before and I'm gonna go ahead and mess up my cards to show you these, these combinations because they're significant. The one seven of swords is all about this one connection, this relationship, this king of swords who betrayed you, um, let you down um, on a very significant level. 
And then this other one is about this new connection with this King of Wands. You know, how do I thrive in this connection when I'm dealing with this? How do you balance that out? It's not a situation that is easy to deal with. So, Scorpio, let me get my cards back in place. This Queen of Wands, I do feel, is the same person as this Queen of Cups. Now, this could be um, the counterpart to this King of, of Wands. There could be some kind of already established connection between these two. Or it could be a brand new connection. Either or. I mean, the Ace of Cups could indicate either or. This is already established connection, something, it, you know, with the Page of Cups coming out here, it feels like this could potentially could be a new connection for this queen, one that she's missing out on right now. One that she can't, and the fact that it's associated too with this Ace of Pentacles, to me says it's not necessarily a romantic connection. It could be both though. It could be a new romantic connection or intimate connection. It could be just a friendship or a working relationship. But right now, whatever is tied to this relationship is on hold because of what this queen is, is working through. So for me, at least right now, it's kind of confusing because we got the Page of Cups, but then he's got the King of Wands, has the Six of Cups that came out in reverse. But to me, I'm kind of linking um, the Six of Cups and this Lovers in reverse energy to this King of Swords. In other words, if this queen were to approach this king and establish some kind of connection with him and say, hey, let's get this project going or let's collaborate on this or let's create whatever. Let's work together with this ace of pentacles. Um, she's dragging her dirty laundry, laundry with her, this king of swords energy. The resentment, the bad memories. Um, and, you know, it could affect this relationship. So I think that's where the... Um, where there's this concern, this hesitation, and possibly a resistance to um, get things going with this King of Wands. And it's because the Queen is reluctant to bring along her dirty laundry. Now here's, here's one thing that I can tell you, Scorpio, based on the fact that this Queen of Cups also came out as this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is somebody who's very creative, very... Um, ambitious somebody who goes after what she wants she knows what she wants she goes after what she wants and she typically gets what she wants but hang on i gotta get a drink of and so this is somebody who is not going to typically let something stand in her way if she wants to pursue something especially if she's collaborating with somebody else or creating something she's not going to let anything get in her way but she's missed out on this opportunity because of this King of Swords. And it could very well be her nature, her kind of go get them nature. I'm the Queen of Wands. I'm going to go get this if I want it. This King of Swords put an end to that. Knows what type of ambition this type of person has. And thought to himself, well, whatever. It feels like this King, King of Swords very, could very well have been trying to prevent this Queen from this opportunity. So this could be a third party situation. A revenge type situation I'm gonna I'm gonna get you so that you can't pursue this or whatever the case may be this King of Swords feels responsible for um, delaying this connection or, or attempting to bring an end to it or not allow it from starting not allowing it to start I should say Now, this King of Wands, typically with the, the leadership type skills that he has, this is the type of person who's not going to sit back and not do anything. It could be another reason why this queen is feeling the way she is, because if she brings these issues to this type of person, he's going to say, well, I'm going to take action. I'm going to do something. I'm going to go talk to this King of Swords. I'll find out the answers for you. This king would do something like that. He's not going to sit back and just watch somebody be abused or victimized. He's going to take care of business. 
And I think she knows this about this person. I think lots of people know this about this person. And it could very well be the reason why he's being left out. He's being left out in the cold, so to speak. He's being left out. He's being left out of the know. She's not communicating with him. Because if she does, he's going to take matters into his own hands and he's going to fix it. Because that's what he does. Everybody knows this. It's the type of person that he is. It's an option. She could take this path. She could definitely decide to partner up with this King of Wands and allow this person to get involved in this situation and help her come to terms with it or find the answers that she needs. She could do that. It's an option for her. And there's nothing in the cards, at least right now, I have one more round to go, there's nothing in the cards indicating that she shouldn't take this opportunity to get this King of Wands involved. It could be that this Queen, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, <clears throat> is trying to work through things on her own first. Maybe trying to gain answers on her own first. And then maybe if she if she runs out of options, maybe then she'll um, move towards this king to help her out with the situation with this king of swords individual. But I think I think she wants to try it on her own first, or at least work through some of this nine of swords energy before she approaches this king. Um, the queen wants. Too. I mean, she's similar in nature to the King of Wands. This is not a person who's shy or afraid of a challenge. This Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, yeah, she's a victim in this situation, but she's never, you know, in the past, she's never been shy of a challenge. So it, it's in her nature to take charge and do something on her own. She's not going to just sit back and be a wallflower and wait for someone to save her from this doom and gloom. So that, because that's in her nature, like I said, it could be that she wants to try to take care of business first before she gets this King of Wands involved. So let's get this last round out for Scorpio and see if we can't get any more details. The Six of Pentacles again in reverse. Five of Cups again in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands. Eight of Swords in reverse again. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands again. Eight of Wands down here. And then the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this might be for some of you, not all of you, because I did get a little extra tidbit of information from this last round. It's possible, I'm actually really surprised the Three of, of Swords didn't come out here. I mean, we have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Because this king, this feels like third party situation. This feels a, like a vengeful act on, a, on behalf of this king of swords. This is a vengeful act. And it was absolutely unfair. It was, um, there, is no, there is nothing that warranted what this king of swords is responsible for. There's nothing that, in other words, I feel like there's revenge or vengeance behind this act. 
this person is vicious and this person meant to hurt and cut and leave scars. That was this person's intention. I think another part of this person's intention, and this is the part that might not be true for everybody watching, this person knew full well the opportunity at hand with regard to this Queen of Wands, King of Wands. And I think this person, this King of Swords, was trying to influence this King of Wands so that he would drop this partnership. He would let it go. And when I say partnership, I mean this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands. The King of Swords intention with whatever he did, at least part of the intention tied to whatever he did to this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, part of it was to get this person, this King of Wands, to drop the connection with the Queen or disconnect with her or not move forward with her or plant some doubt in his head with regard to this person. In other words, um, part of what this king did could have been um, talking smack about this queen, spreading rumors and lies. And these are, this is not a page of swords in reverse that we're talking about. These are not just petty, gossipy rumors. These, whatever this person was doing and saying, and whatever he was spreading around was hurtful and damaging and vicious. So that's for some of you. This feels really difficult. The other piece of this is I think that part of this queen's devastation as a response to whatever this king of swords is responsible for, part of her dev devastation is this is not just a broken connection or somebody that betrayed you on a very deep level. This could potentially be a broken home. I feel like this connection with this king of swords, whoever did this to this queen was deeply tied to her and I don't think someone that she would typically anticipate would do something like that. So this isn't just a false friend who spreads a minor rumor or some kind of misunderstanding or miscommunication around, you know, the workplace. This is somebody who I feel was has, has some kind of um, significant connection with this Queen of Wands that just literally pulled the rug out from underneath her. He intentionally tried to um, wound this person to the point where it would affect anything in her life moving forward, but specifically this King of Wands. Now the good news is this King of Wands, if, if this part of the story for you Scorpio is true so if this King of Wands did receive some kind of information lies gossip from this King of Swords or you know this King of Swords was trying to drag this Queen's name through the mud and this King of Wands witnessed it whatever the case may be this King of Wands is not just believing the stuff that's fallen from the sky this King of Wands has questions himself and he's not just accepting what he hears as the gospel truth until he gets more answers. This person is not jumping to conclusions. The King of Wands, if he's a good leader, if he's a good, uh, if he's if he's a man of integrity, an individual who who deserves that kind of respect, that a a, a person in leadership in a leadership. Um, position should get or deserves if he's that type of person he's not going to just accept something at face value especially if it's as harsh as whatever this king of swords delivered he's going to dig a little deeper make sure the sources are accurate 
and find out the real answers for, before he draws any conclusions. So this relationship with this King of Wands is not lost. Long story short, long story short, it's not lost. So Scorpio, we're going to get a Dreams of Gaia Tarot card, see if we can't get any more. I think I've gone through the cards pretty well, and I think I've got the message, I think I've got it pretty, pretty down to the, to the fine details here. Um, seeing, I'm trying to see if there's anything I may have missed. I might take, I'm going to take this one. You know, this King of Pentacles, I didn't talk too much about this person. I am going to take this one here. We have Love in Reverse. Interesting, I pulled this card in the upright yesterday. Um, I'm going to get to that card in a minute. But this King of Pentacles, that was the very last card that came out. I do feel like it's associated with this King of Wands. And the King of Pentacles in Reverse to me, in this particular case, especially coming out with this Eight of, Eight of Wands, which he's also clarifying here, um, I, I get the feeling like he is, again, not necessarily, what's the, what's the best way to put this? The King of Pentacles is not going to absorb or be true to or respond to or accept um, what he hears, communication, news, messages. He's not going to allow that information to affect him when it means him taking action with regard to what he knows and what he's heard. He's going again, he's going to find out if the sources are valid and honest and have accurate information. So I think that's what that piece of the story was about that king of pentacles is related to that so i hope that didn't confuse things sometimes i over explain do you know how it is scorpio right i want to make sure that, you want to make sure you're understood and sometimes you just keep going and going and then you mess it all up so i do that sometimes okay so we have the love card in reverse this is a potential blockage i think it's definitely going to apply to this reading this is one of the major arcana cards, and I've said this before, I'll say it again, um, in this Dreams of Gaia Tarot, these cards are significantly, the major arcana cards are significantly different and don't necessarily coincide with um, your traditional Rider Waite meanings. And there's three extra cards in this deck. So Love in Reverse is a potential blockage. It's just about a half a page, and I'll display the card for you in the upright. Here we go, Scorpio. One of the most difficult things to do is remove a person from your heart. To let go of love when it no longer serves us is sometimes easier said than done, but there comes a time when it is necessary to release the dreams and fantasies about what was and accept the reality of what is. If a relationship is over yet you still hold on to what is not meant to be, you risk closing yourself to new relationships. The right one may be there in front of you, but you cannot see it because your heart and head are full of thoughts of the wrong one. When the love card appears reversed, it may be suggesting that it is time to say goodbye. However, it may also be time to say goodbye to the negative speak that goes on in your mind. If this is a message for you, say goodbye to that voice. There's that nine of swords. Tell it to hush. Tell it that you are breaking up with it and that you are no longer listening. While there might be times when that voice is your conscious guiding you, if the love card appears reversed, it signifies that in this circumstance, it is a pretty little petty not pretty it is a petty little voice that needs to be ignored because it is merely fear preventing you from doing what you know will make you happy was that perfect <laughs> oh my gosh i can't make this stuff up i just can't that was a perfect ending to this reading the thoughts that are currently going through your head scorpio associated with this person you need to let them go and heal from this once and for all because that petty little voice that won't allow you to let go of what this person has done to you and 
and how they affected your life is holding you back from the connections that are going to make a significant positive impact in your life. If it's a working relationship or a family connection that maybe you've disengaged from or whatever the case may be, you've got to let go of what's been hurting you so that you can move forward to what can heal you and make you happy. It's time to say goodbye to this one. This person is still thriving off of whatever occurred because this person knows it's still affecting this Queen of Cups on a really significantly deep level to the point where she's not able to make progress or move forward because this past event and this past pain is still dwelling in her mind. So there's a certain level of satisfaction that this person is gaining out of this Scorpio and I hate to say that but it's the truth. They're, this person feeds off of that negativity, feeds off of what it, this person's actions and, and the response and the results and the outcome that occurs because of their actions is their fuel for this type of person to keep going. So it's time to, it's time to kick this person to the curb. Absolutely time. Maybe without closure. That's hard, I know. Without the questions answered, without the closure, I know it's hard. Scorpio, trust me. I know, but um, you got to do that. So the good news is this person's still here. This opportunity's still here. For me, it's just indicating a delay. Um, if you do choose to get this person, this King of Wands involved, he will take action on your behalf and probably help you work through this a little bit more quickly than, than you will if you pursue it on your own, but that's obviously going to be up to you if you don't want this person to have to deal with what you're, you know, what you're bringing to the table, uh, maybe resolve it before you hook up with this person again and start working with them. So anyway, Scorpio, I hope that this reading was helpful to you. I hope that it resonated. Um, if you are going through the situation, I wish you all the best. I really feel for you. I know it's hard. Um, hang in there and work through it. The stars will align and your spirit guards, guides are with you. So talk to them. They're with you and they will help you through this as well. So Scorpio, I wish you all the best. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to share your story. I always appreciate that. I will see you next time. Scorpio, take care. Bye.